Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. It isn't what you have or who you are or where you are or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about it. One of the tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. We are all dreaming of some magical rose garden over the horizon, instead of enjoying the roses that are blooming outside our windows today. When we hate our enemies, we are giving them power over us, power over our sleep, our appetites, our blood pressure, our health, and our happiness. You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Everybody in the world is seeking happiness, and there is one sure way to find it. That is by controlling your thoughts. Happiness doesn't depend on outward conditions. It depends on inner conditions. The difference between appreciation and flattery? That is simple. One is sincere and the other insincere. One comes from the heart out, the other from the teeth out. One is unselfish, the other selfish. One is universally admired, the other universally condemned. It isn't what you have, or who you are, or where you are, or what you are doing that makes you happy or unhappy. It is what you think about. The world is full of people who are grabbing and self-seeking. So the rare individual who unselfishly tries to serve others has an enormous advantage, when the fierce, burning winds blow over our lives, and we cannot prevent them, let us, too, accept the inevitable. And then get busy and pick up the pieces. The world is full of people who are grabbing and self-seeking. So the rare individual who unselfishly tries to serve others has an enormous advantage. The ideas I stand for are not mine. I borrowed them from Socrates. I swiped them from Chesterfield. I stole them from Jesus. And I put them in a book. If you don't like their rules, whose would you use? I have come to the conclusion that there is only one way under high heaven to get the best of an argument, and that is to avoid it. Avoid it as you would avoid rattlesnakes and earthquakes. If you can't sleep, then get up and do something instead of lying there and worrying. It's the worry that gets you, not the loss of sleep. Personally I am very fond of strawberries and cream, but I have found that for some strange reason, fish prefer worms. So when I went fishing, I didn't think about what I wanted. I thought about what they wanted. I didn't bait the hook with strawberries and cream. Rather, I dangled a worm or grasshopper in front of the fish and said, wouldn't you like to have that? Why not use the same common sense when fishing for people? Inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. When the fierce, burning winds blow over our lives, and we cannot prevent them, let us, too, accept the inevitable. And then get busy and pick up the pieces. The ideas I stand for are not mine. I borrowed them from Socrates. I swiped them from Chesterfield. I stole them from Jesus. And I put them in a book. If you don't like their rules, whose would you use? Don't be afraid to give your best to what seemingly are small jobs. Every time you conquer one it makes you that much stronger. If you do the little jobs well, the big ones will tend to take care of themselves.